One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Now, this is not bragging or no shit like that. But let me remind you motherfuckers that keep trying to motherfucking finagle me like I'm just some fucking... Let me tell you about some shit in this motherfucking hip-hop game that you can't even motherfucking mention without including me to it. Alright? Rakim's first fucking record. You cannot mention that shit without putting me as a part of it. KRS-One. You cannot... Mention KRS-One without making me a part of that. Informer, you know, send out a snowman, I'm gonna blame. You can't motherfucking mention that shit without me being a part of that. Daddy Yankee, Kong Karma. But even before that, the shit that Daddy Yankee doing and shit like that now, believe me, I'm the father of that fucking Spanish shit. That Spanish, well, I didn't mean to call it shit, but that Spanish reggae shit, nigga. Because when I had snow, I also had a cat called Rain, Raymond Basura. His name was Rain, and that's what he did to Spanish reggae. Long before Daddy Yankee, all of them. When I did Rain, only thing we was listening to was uh, Tito Puentes, and, 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 and who did I get, uh... Who did we get to fucking play horns and do shit? Cody Mundi. I was getting those kind of artists to feature on his new reggaeton. I'm the father. Well, I ain't going to say I'm the father, but I had a part in that right there. So a lot of shit you can't mention. But people want to always take the piece of your story that is important to them. Not recognizing your whole fucking spectrum. Let's put it, let's just talk about Grandmaster Kaz for one second. Kaz is influential in a lot of shit. But motherfuckers may only want to talk to him about his Sugar Hill Gang thing. But if you want to look at Kaz's whole motherfucking life and career, how he influenced me and plenty other motherfuckers, that shit just one little part, small, minuscule, and and you would want to just, well, Kaz, we only want that part, fuck you, nigga, you gotta fucking recognize this nigga greatness from top to bottom, and pay the nigga like he weigh, that's all I'm saying, <laughs> it's your man Shizzle, one time for your mind, two time for your soul, with a whistle. A.K.A. my bitch beer, as my fucking niece calls it, but she don't call it bitch beer no more because she drank it like it was Kool-Aid and laid her ass out. But it's your man, Shizzle. Nothing standing between you and success, but every opportunity. Like I said, today is a day of talking shit, so I'm going to talk it.